Did Jean-Luc Brunel actually kill himself? Mr. Reagan. A newly discovered software flaw is possibly the most critical vulnerability of the last decade for anybody connected to the internet. This software vulnerability grants hackers, spies, and criminals easy access to customer data off countless enterprise-level websites. Security experts across the country are ringing the alarm, stating that everyone is at risk. But your privacy is in your own hands. And that's why I use Virtual Shield VPN every time I connect to the internet. Virtual Shield VPN helps protect my online data from hackers, data mining companies, my mobile cameras, carrier, my internet service provider, and even the alphabet agencies. The best part is that Virtual Shield is one of the very few VPNs with a strict no-log policy, meaning that they will not keep your search history stored on their servers. Now, I could not be more happy with the peace of mind that using a Virtual Shield VPN offers me. This month, I've partnered with the creators of Virtual Shield to give my audience 50% off for life and a free 30-day trial of Virtual Shield's VPN to celebrate the new year. Just go to virtualshield.com slash Mr. Reagan or click on the link in the description below. The term Epstein has been thrown around a lot lately as a way of indicating concern that somebody might be assassinated in order to protect a powerful person or politician, particularly the Clintons. Well, it's just been reported that an associate of Jeffrey Epstein, a guy named Jean-Luc Brunel, has just committed suicide in his prison cell in Paris, having hanged himself with bedsheets exactly like Jeffrey Epstein. It's as if rich guys awaiting trial all went to the same suicide school. Naturally, the term Epstein is currently being used all over Twitter to describe this suicide. Now, this guy was a real monster. He'd been accused of vicious criminal acts with girls since the 1980s. The head of Karen Models, one of the largest and most prestigious agencies in the country. His name is Jean-Luc Brunel. But Courtney and Sherry, who are not Ford Models, told us about the dinners he invites his other girls to attend with his male friends. It's a meat market. You are there for the purpose of somebody wanting to take you home to bed. He is acting as a matchmaker. He's got the agency. He's got the girls. His friends say, oh, Jean-Luc, I'd like to have, you know, I'd like to meet some girls or we're having a party tonight. Can you bring some girls? And what happens if you say no? You don't work. Now, you've actually known be very careful on this. You actually have known that he has made someone pay a professional penalty for saying no. I know. I paid a penalty for saying no. no. I was personally proposed to by himself, Jean-Luc, and I said, no way. I laughed in his face, and I had no more appointments, and I never worked. What about the fact that people say when you come over here, you've come over knowing what you're getting into. I mean, everyone knows. How can you know what you're getting into? How can you know what you're getting into? This is like a foreign country, you know? I mean, I'm from Florida, little city, Pompano Beach, you know? I mean, come on, how am I going to know what goes on in, in um, Paris, you know, or Milan? I mean, I don't even speak the language. I don't know anyone, you know? I'm in a, I'm in a new environment, you know? I don't know anyone. I have to trust the people that I come over here with. I mean, I'm naive, I'm young. A lot of these bigwigs at the agencies literally hold, have a scale where in this hand they have your career and in this hand they have what they want. And your career can go up if they get what they want. If they don't get it, your career goes down. When we filmed at the Bandouche, Jean-Luc Brunel was there. A number of models told us he has used cocaine heavily and offered it to the girls along with help in their careers. This girl told us a few years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house with a few of his friends. She said a powerful hallucinogenic drug was slipped into her drink and that Jean-Luc kept urging her to go in and take a bath. Um, I started hallucinating and at first, you know, I was very confusing because it was very scary because if you don't know that you've been drugged and all of a sudden you start hallucinating, it's, that's very scary. She said she managed to get out of the house but stayed disoriented for 24 hours. But this ex-model says several years ago she went to Jean-Luc's house and didn't get away. She asked to have her voice and face disguised. He gave you a drink? Yes. You drank it and then what? I blacked out. I don't remember anything after that. The next thing you remember was being in this man's bed. Who was he? Do I have to say the name? 
It was name? John Luke from Karen's Modeling Agency. You were raped? Yes, I do know that. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. I, I know. You think everybody knows this about Jean-Luc Brunel? Oh, yes. A lot of people know that. A lot of people. They continue to deal with him. Everyone will, continues to deal with I don't know why. And according to one of the victims, Brunel had supplied Epstein with over a thousand girls over the years. Jeffrey personally told me he slept. He abused. He said slept because he likes to naturalize it. But he abused over a thousand women that Brunel brought in. Epstein told you that. Epstein told me that. Upon the news of Brunel's supposed suicide, his lawyers released a statement that said his decision was not led by a feeling of guilt, but by a deep feeling of injustice. <laughs> so they're trying to claim that he was totally innocent and the injustice that he was facing was so unbearable that he killed himself. Right. I mean, we've got to keep in mind that this guy knew Epstein very well and may have known about Epstein's clients. Who knows how many people this guy could have identified as Epstein clients had he lived through the trial. And who knows how many clients he supplied underage girls to directly unrelated to Epstein. This guy was a monster. It's entirely plausible that he supplied women to creeps other than Epstein. I'm going to read you an article about Brunel's supposed suicide here in The Sun. The headline says, Died alone, Jean-Luc Brunel dead, disgraced Epstein pimp, was in single cell and no cameras recorded his prison suicide. Jeffrey Epstein Powell, John Luke Brunel's death, was not caught on camera and he was in a single occupancy cell at the time, sources said. Brunel died in circumstances eerily similar to his pedo friend Epstein, as he also hung himself in a prison while awaiting trial for sex crimes. He was being held at La Sante in Paris, one of the toughest jails in France, when he is reported to have taken his own life last night. While CCTV is commonplace in the corridors and gateways of French prisons, the vast majority of cells are not under video surveillance. This is to ensure a degree of privacy and to make sure that European human rights legislation is not violated. But at the moment, it looks like he killed himself alone, and it was a routine patrol that found his body hanging. The source added there were no obvious fears for the prisoner's health and he was not on a suicide watch having already been in prison for many months. Brunel's body is set to be subject to an autopsy to find his exact cause of death. Forensic officers were meanwhile examining the cell where Brunel died in La Sante. Brunel had been indicted and remanded in custody in December 2020 following accusations of something that rhymes with grape and um, assault of a inappropriate nature of minors including three 12 year old sisters. Jeez, I did not know that. He was also being probed over human trafficking and being part of a criminal conspiracy amid his association with Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Described previously as the pedo multimillionaire's best mate and pimp, he is believed to have been a key member of Epstein's inner circle. Brunel will likely take many secrets about Epstein and his horrific trafficking ring to the grave. And that is the great disappointment here. That's the, that's the real problem here. I mean, I don't mind that this guy's dead. I'm, that's great, actually. But... There is a problem, which is that he's taken all of his secrets to the grave. I want to know who the clients were. How convenient for them that this guy's now dead. Now, according to the New York Post, Ghislaine Maxwell's brother Ian just gave an interview where he said, it's really shocking, another death by hanging in a high security prison. My reaction is one of total shock and bewilderment. And he said that the Maxwell family currently fears for Ghislaine's safety. Do you fear for your sister's safety? Yeah, I certainly do. I'm not a conspiracy uh, theory person, but if you were a conspiracy theory person, obviously you would say, well, you know, these things happen in threes and no doubt Gillen is going to be taken out for whatever fantasy reason people seem to think about. Now, this isn't the first time Ian Maxwell has raised doubts about Epstein's death being a suicide. He expressed the same kind of concerns on a podcast called Americano in December last year. There's a lot of conspiracy theory the, the, uh, the idea that Jeffrey Epstein didn't necessarily kill himself, but was in fact bumped off. And so, I mean, do you fear for your sister's safety? I do. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, wholly convinced that he killed himself, actually. I think it's uh, not been very well explained how a man supposedly under 24-7 guard in, in broadly similar isolated conditions to those my sister is experiencing could somehow die on... The U.S. watch, 
it's, it's extraordinary to me. So, yes, I think uh, there is a possibility that she's in some danger. Now, I am sure that YouTube does not want me saying anything unorthodox about these deaths. So I'll just say this. Yes, they were clearly suicides, and anyone who questions that is clearly a racist. And be sure to expect that this will be the mainstream media's take on this story. There's no way they're going to ever question this supposed suicide, no matter how convenient it is for all of those heretofore unnamed clients. Hilariously, ABC News reported the death in the same breath as news about avocado imports. A close associate of disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein, modeling agent Jean-Luc Brunel, was found dead this morning in his prison cell. As lawyers say, he died by suicide. Epstein also died by suicide in a New York City jail back in 2019. Avocados from Mexico are back on the menu. And I think that's about the extent of the coverage that we're going to get on this. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going to be all over the news and they're all going to be like, wow, this seems really suspicious. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'm just being pessimistic. Well, that's it for me. And remember, it's not that our liberal friends are ignorant. It's just they know so much that is not so. Good night. The destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we're spirits, not animals. There's something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which, whether we like it or not, spells duty.